Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people who don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. And for people who do know, I'm sorry, I wasn't working for you lately. <laughs> and there is a couple of reasons for that. Some of them are logical, some of them are personal reasons. And no worries, I have a plan actually to make me stuck on this channel so I will keep making videos forever. And I will not give too much info because I did, I'm trying to build a team now and uh, it's, not, it's not an easy job. And also for a second reason, Let's just not bore the people that don't know. So let's just get straight to the video and show you how actually to create collapsible product description for Shopify. And if you are wondering why I'm starting with this video, because it's the most requested one. If I get back to my comments, the most requested one is this one, the collapsible description for the products. And no worries, in this video, I got you. I will show you how to do that. And I will show you how to do that without using any apps or anything like that, just by using our own custom code. And for people who don't know, again, that will make the Shopify store load much faster than using apps for things. So I recommend people do not use apps for everything, just the things that you cannot find the code or the, the script for them. And as you can see, this is the dashboard right here. And I have this down team, which is the most used one as the main team. And I have taste team, sense team, refresh team, and spotlight team. And these ones are the most used ones and because they are free and they are very flexible. And if you notice, the versions are all the latest ones. So every trick I will do on this channel, I will actually try it on every team in here to make sure it works in every Shopify team. This ones that you see right now, not every Shopify team, but the the best free ones are the most used ones which is these ones right here even though if you use like some other team just drop me a comment below i will be happy to help you out but for now all my tricks i will start posting on this channel from now on work on all of these shopify teams but the demonstrations will be undone of course so without any more talking let's just get to it so this is the shopify store right here and it's not customizable at all but i will do that in this channel so on the videos the Shopify store will transform. Let's just scroll down and access. This one actually has a very long description. So this one, as you can see, very long. I need like collapsible. So I have button here, click on it, show me the description. If I want to close, I can click on it and it will close the description. That would be really good. So let, let's just keep this open, get back in here, do the trick, come back and see it. So the first thing you're going to do is click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. It will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. The next thing you're going to do, click on the filter here, the search bar, and type in main-products, and you will see main-product.liquid. Simply click on it, bunch of code in here, no worries. I will direct you in every step, no worries. I will also give you uh, my support. So the next thing you're going to do, if you are on Windows, click on Control F, the buttons on the keyboard. If you are on Mac, click on Command F, and it will show me the search bar right here and simply type in when and space and type in this between this used in quotes i don't know what it's called but only one dot uh, description no worries i will put this in description box so simply scroll down copy it and paste it in here which is description and another one like this as i said it's in the description below and after that simply click on next and it will highlight it on the page in here as you can see so this is what we need. Once you find it, below it, you will see uh, a line of code. And the second line here, which is the third one, sorry, is the div. It starts with div in here, and there is a closure for div in here. So we need this part of the code. Again, I will put this in the description box so you will need, you will actually know what you need to find. So make sure to highlight this this is what we need and after you find it again scroll down to description box and you will see link name it as code and it's free again as always click on it and it will take you to this page and i'm about actually to make my own website where i can host these because lately this website was down and the amount of comments i got like hey the website doesn't work some people even say your website doesn't work. <laughs> this is past being. If I own this, I'll be rich. <laughs> no, I don't own this website and it was down for a couple of days and it was really hard to find the code. So I will host this code on my website. I'm working on that as of now. 
So next thing you're going to do is obviously select the code in here or hold on, I forgot one thing. Make sure actually to take a backup here. So I'm going to do that. Con uh, again, if you are Windows, Control A to select all the code or Command A if you are on Mac, then right click and copy. I'm going to take a backup because I'm a traditional man. Yes, you can actually find, you can get back to the previous version from here. However, from my experience, this does break sometimes and it can be really hard to find the things you're trying to, you'd find the previous version if it this breaks because it does. So I'm going to paste it in here because I'm a traditional man, as I said. Then I'm going to get back to our code and simply right click and copy. After I copy it, I'm going to paste it in, actually replace the start from the div and the closer of div. These lines right here, I'm going to remove them as you can see on the screen. Simply remove them and paste in the code that we did copy from the link. Now, simply click on the save button. We will get back in here to the products and reload the page. And it will be a button here. As you can see, it says description. If I click on it and it will show me the description as you can see the very long description here. So if I get back up and click on it, it will hide description, no more description. So yeah, this is how you create collapsible product description for your Shopify store without using any apps or anything like that. And as I said, again, if you have any questions, drop me below. I will be happy to do a video for you. Same as the ones that you will see on this channel from now on are all requests by subscribers. And thank you so much for watching and catch you on the next one.